So let me take you through my favourites. I talked about that Tiemco Sumari 90 Deep. Another one is this Smith's Cherry Blood. And that's another deep running lure. These are three metre divers. This thing has been bashed to bits and it's caught some giants, this thing. This is a um, Realis Jerkbait 100 DR. And you can see I've got a heavier BKK on the back and then a, uh, an owner up the front. And the profile on this, you might be able to pick up, it's got really sharp edges on it. A deep running bib, so it gets down to three, three and a half metres and it puts out a ridiculous vibe and a rattle down deep. And there's other things like, um, what have I got here? Have I got a jackal? Yep, these jackal squirrels and jackal hank tunes. This one's been repainted by um, GK Customs. But these jackal squirrels, similar again, a three meter diver, deep sounding balls, there's a couple of different sounds in there, but those are fantastic as well. A super tight action, really aggressive retrieve, doesn't throw this thing sideways. It comes straight back to the boat hard and fast. And um, yeah, these things are just brilliant. Another one of my favourites, this has caught the biggest jacks I've ever caught on a, um, on a hard body. This XR10 Deep by Rapala, the X-Rap. This thing has uh, stood the test of time and they've caught a hell of a lot of jacks for me. You can see I've bent up the rear hook hanger there by pegging it in against retaining walls. That's how, how I like to fish it, hard up against the structure. And um, there's been some questions around the attachment because it's only glued, that bib attachment. I've only ever had one fail on me and that was uh, me fishing it hard in against the rocks, like super hard for a couple of years and it snapped. Um, some blokes have talked to me about that being an issue, but I haven't really had a problem with it. I've probably owned 30 of these things over the years and I've only ever had one pull out and it was probably my fault if I'm being honest. So the finish on these with an internal holographic foil and uh, that eye, the profile, is, they're just unreal. One of the latest additions to the Jack World for hard bodies, it's coming this season. If they're not in stores already, they're coming. And it's, it's an extension on the shadow wrap. And this is a, it's called a rip stop. And I'm gonna do some reviews on this, but this thing's got a little special, like a, a stalling fin or a tail at the end of it, you can see there, that pulls it up short and stops it dead in its tracks. And for aggressive jack fishing, that's what you want, a lure that stops dead in its tracks. So they've got a really hard edged profile, a lot like the Duo Realis uh, 100DRs, and I love that. An aggressive retrieve with these things. I've upgraded that treble at the front with a Raptor Z BKK and then put the 2X owners on the back and it just suspends beautifully in salt. So there's the lures that I like. They're my favorite jack lures at the moment. You can see the attention to detail and the finishes on these things. I really think that matters. The action comes first, actually in front of the, the action, where it lands. You've got to get these things right in hard up against the cover. So land it in there and then get that aggressive action going. And you might have been able to pick up in that short video some of the action where I'm just letting it sit there right in front of a jack's face. And it's that heavier treble often that allows these lures to suspend perfectly in salt water. And that's the reason for it. It's not always just to upgrade treble so they can handle jacks, it's to suspend those lures balanced like that in the mid water around that cover. Uh, the way that I like to fish them, aggressively with big stalls, but I'm using a bait casting rod, and this is a five foot six, eight to 10 kilo, super heavy, right, for estuary fishing. It's a really heavy, short bait casting rod, and that allows me to get a really aggressive action. The five, six short rod gives me that accuracy to get hard in against cover underneath trees and that, and uh, I just use a fairly light, this is a low profile bait casting reel spooled with 20 pound braid and fluorocarbon leader. This is a Shimano Corrado and uh, I love them because they've got a high gear ratio. These HGs are like a 7.4 to 1. So you can get the lure back in quick, fire it back in for another shot and that gets you your repeatability, your casting and just the amount of frequency you get in a session for all those casts. It gets that happening better than like a 4 or a 5 to 1 ratio reel. So if you're after any more information, just hit me up with a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you. Um, it's a lot of fun this time of year, chasing big, big jacks in and around heavy cover. You can do it around pontoons. My favorite way to go is in against heavy logs and lay downs and things with these lures. And um, yeah, low light conditions, early morning. Um, 
and just hang on, hang on. Big stalls and just hang on. So um, if you're enjoying these videos and these tips, make sure you leave a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, make sure, if you've only just new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got new reviews, tips and action videos and little adventures out fishing. Uh, they're coming every week, a couple of times a week. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the engagement from you guys that have been around for a long time. So thanks for your comments. I'll keep making these videos while you're watching them. Hopefully you're enjoying them and learning a bit. I'll see you in the next one.